that. What's your feeling about the president uh, politically? Do you think he's coming? Oh, I President's plane has arrived after several expectant hours here. The crowd was beginning to wonder if he were ever going to show up. The U.S. Air Force plane now debarking the presidential party, including not only the president, uh, but many state and local officials. The University of Miami Band is standing at attention. Cries of, there's the president. Where is he? Also cries of, where is he? If you're down too low in this crowd, you can't see him. Uh, the party is uh, still leaving the plane. And I haven't spotted the president myself, so uh, perhaps he's still on the plane. Taking off his snow Yes, all preparations being made, I believe, for the president to leave the airplane. This will be his fifth or sixth speech today. He made several in Tampa this morning, one here at the airport, and here comes the President of the United States. to the Floridians up there on the platform.
children squealed and uh, whistled. And welcome Danny Purcell, Congressman from South Florida, Ladies going to make an introduction. We are indeed honored here in Miami and Dade County in South Florida to have the privilege and the opportunity to welcome the President of the United States and his presidential party. I'd like to introduce some of those who have been traveling with the President on his tour through Florida. Our United States Senator, the Honorable George Smathers. Some of my distinguished colleagues in the House of Representatives, the Honorable Torby McDonald from Massachusetts. The Honorable Sam Gibbons from Tampa. Miami in this section of Florida, 
and also for the United States, Congressman from Tampa, Sam Gibbons, my old friend Mayor High, and the associated mayors who come with him. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been making nonpartisan speeches all day, and I'm glad to come here as a Democrat and express my pleasure as a Democrat. If there are any Republicans here, this is the Democratic message that I'm about to give. I want to give them fair warning. Woodrow Wilson once said that a political party is of no use unless it's serving a great national purpose. I believe that the Democratic Party in this century has served a great national purpose here in the state of Florida, here in this county, and here in the United States. We have been for the last three years attempting to build upon a framework and platform built by other distinguished Democratic presidents who went before Harry Truman and Franklin Roosevelt who make it possible for us who make it possible for us to live in a secure and growing country in a world in which our vital interests are now being protected and I can assure you will be protected in the future. What is it we want to do? It's pretty simple. What we want to do is make it possible in this decade to educate our children so that all children of talent can develop those talents and make something of themselves and their families. Therefore, this state, in supporting a $75 million bond issue, which you did two or three weeks ago, to make it possible to provide facilities for your sons and daughters to go to college, you're trying to do in this state what I want us to do across the nation, to provide loans, boys and girls who couldn't go to college to go to college. Is that socialism? I want to see us assist. I want to see us assist colleges to provide dormitories and classrooms to take care of the seven and a half to eight million boys and girls who are going to try to go to college in 1970 and will if we make the right decision now. And then I want to see this country provide an economic growth rate to make it possible for all those people who want to find a job to work, the United States today, I'm proud to say, in the last 18 months, has had the highest growth rate nearly of any country in the West, a higher growth rate, which we never expected before, exceeding France and Germany and every country in Western Europe, but two. And we will, by January of 1964, have seen an income increase of $100 billion in the last 36 months. That's what we want to do. So we want to educate our children. We want to educate our children. We want to provide jobs for our people. And thirdly, we want to provide security for them in their older age. Franklin Roosevelt began it in Social Security. And we're going to contribute to it in providing assistance for those who desire medical assistance as they retire after the age of 62 or 65. Those are some of the things that we want to do. I know there are those who are opposed to it. They opposed everything Franklin Roosevelt tried to do. They opposed everything that Harry Truman tried to do. And now in 1963, when we stand as we do for progress, we still have those who say, no, stop. Let's just forget it. I don't think we want to forget it. I think a majority of the people of the United States are committed to the movement forward of Florida and this country. Cape Canaveral and all the rest symbolize a growing Florida and a growing country. So I'm glad to come here today. I'm going to come back next year and make a longer speech. But I want to express my thanks. I want to express my thanks to all of you. In 1960, which was not so long ago, we carried this county by 65,000 votes or so. This is a great democratic county in a great democratic area in a state which I'm convinced is going to be democratic in 1964 in a democratic country. Thank you very much.
on a book. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attendance here today. Uh, the president's on a very tight schedule, uh, and we thank you very, very much for the wonderful reception which you've given all of us.
have to get reactive and speak, I guess. Are these mics open? I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting for the people getting all that. Uh -huh.